With your help through the holidays, the City of Kirkland will collect food and holiday gifts and toys for HopeLink food banks to share with people in need in our community. We visited their Kirkland North Shore Food Bank location and spoke with HopeLink staff Matthew Campbell and Claire Hahn. It's people from all walks of life. There is no one stereotype. We have infants that come in here. We have a lot of retired folks that come in here. Most of our clients that come in are actually working class. They just need a little bit of help closing those gaps. And that's what we're here for, is to help them make sure they have enough food for their entire family on the table. According to HopeLink, families of four who are using the food bank receive the equivalent of $400 of food per month. With that, families no longer need to worry about where their next meal is coming from. HopeLink provides stability through basic needs like food, clothing, and crisis shelters. They also help with health services, mobility, and financial resources. But it really begins when they fulfill the basic needs of a struggling person or family. Claire Hahn is the coordinator of HopeLink's Kirkland Food Bank. Her mission is to ensure her clients are treated with dignity. Essentially what you're seeing behind you is a grocery store where everything is free for clients of our community. Traditionally you hear somebody talk of a food bank and you picture kind of like a dismal place where people are just handed bags of food, might like them, might not. Here we have a grocery model set up so clients actually get a grocery cart, they get to go around just like they would any normal store and pick out what they actually like for themselves and their families. And as you can see, we have fresh produce, they have meat, there's all kinds of different selections. It's to welcome our community here, and they don't have to pay for anything. It's very positive feedback here. It's, there's a big sense of community. People will come together, like carpool and everything. It's, it's very positive. You know, we really get to know our clients on a personal level. When they come in here, they're exposed and they're raw, but, and they share their stories with us. And some of the greatest stories I have experienced are when they come in and give us a great big hug because it's their last time coming to the food bank. They'll come tell us, I got a job. I don't need you guys anymore. How can I contribute? Kirkland's Hope Link is just one of the safety nets that catch people when they're close to the edge. Together with four other operations in Bellevue, Redmond, Shoreline, and Carnation, HopeLink serves 15,000 people each year, and they can only operate with the generosity of community members. We can't have a food bank without food, and so we do need the donations from the community um, as far as food goes, but we also do need time. I can't run a food bank this size without a lot of help, and I have so many volunteers, and I can always use more in just giving them to the community, being a part of something. Second step is, is donors, and that means there's multiple ways to donate. Donate your time, of course. Donate food. You know, go to your local grocery store, host a food drive. Uh, we have kids that instead of birthday parties, do food drives. There's a lot of ways to get involved. The other thing I want to mention about this time of year, the middle of December, all our food banks transform into gift rooms. And we take everything off the shelves and completely transform it into a gift store. And the grandparents and parents get to come through and shop for their kids and come whatever holiday you celebrate, come that morning, the kids get to wake up and have that brand new toy, that even possibly like a bicycle. We have all kinds of things and they get to have that magical moment. Even if the parents couldn't necessarily afford it, we're here to provide the service that they can and, and create those memories with their families. Here at Kirkland, our gift room is December 17th, 19th, and 20th. Other sites go from about that time until the 22nd, just depending on what site it is. Yeah, we'll take donations uh, all the way up until the last gift room. Uh, we do ask the items be new. We want those children to experience new toys just like we did. HopeLink helps families exit poverty through the many programs and services it offers. They also help families develop a step-by-step -step action plan that may include education, employment, health, housing stability, parenting, and financial management goals designed to help struggling families get back on their feet again. Claire and I both work on the food side of the program, but HopeLink offers so much more than just food. You know, food is the first step in helping someone get back on their feet. But HopeLink offers a wide variety of programs from energy assistance to education. We have housing. You can just tell by our numbers and the fact that the numbers are growing that shows that we do have a need in our community. And it is often assumed because this is the wealthy east side that we don't have the need, but it's evident in our numbers and the clients that, yeah, it's still hard out here. You can still be working a full-time job, but it might not pay enough to get your family through and you just need that extra bump. And just because we're over here doesn't mean that that doesn't exist. HopeLink is committed to serving more people through its food banks and providing stability to more families who are seeking to exit poverty. It takes all, all partners to make this happen. It takes volunteers to come in to, to bag food, to hand out food to clients, to do food drives for us. It takes donors, donors hosting those food drives, giving those donations online. It takes 
all those partners, it takes the staff, it takes our clients to make this successful. And we have fantastic partners in Kirkland. I mean, the, the community continues every day to, to amaze me, uh, and I can't wait to see what they continue to do. For more information about HopeLink, go to hopelink.org. During the holiday season, you can bring non-perishable food items and new holiday gifts for kids to City Hall, the Kirkland Justice Center, and your nearest Kirkland Fire Station. Mike Connor for Currently Kirkland.